over the weekend, you sung the praises of, of Margaret Thatcher and wondering what aspect of her economic strategy you, you aspire to the most. Yeah, what I was doing at the weekend in the article I wrote for the Sunday Telegraph was distinguishing between particularly post-war leaders, those leaders, those prime ministers, who had a driving sense of purpose, a mission, a plan to deliver, and those that drifted. And that's why I picked Attlee, who, of course, had um, a new Jerusalem as his mission, his plan, and, you know, and put in the foundations for the next 70 years or more. Um, Thatcher, of course, now it doesn't mean I agree with what she did, but you don't have to agree with someone to recognise they had a mission and a plan, in her particular case, about entrepreneurship. Equally with Tony Blair, a mission to change the Labour Party and put it in a position to seize the opportunities um, or, uh, of the era as the turn of the century. And I want a mission-driven Labour government. I want this sense of driving purpose that withstands the inevitable sidewinds that any government gets and is clear and consistent over a five or ten year period. So I was giving Margaret Thatcher an example of the sort of leader um, who had that mission and plan. That's obviously different to saying I agree with everything that she did.